What's going on guys, Tybrake here, back with another Warframe video, and today we're going to be getting the EMP Aura mod. So, the EMP Aura mod basically reduces the accuracy of Corpus enemies by 10% at the max. So, I've never actually seen this, this Aura mod pop up, and I've never seen anybody use it, ever. I mean, it'll only, it only helps 10%, so at the max, if you had 4 people running with it, that'd be 40% of their accuracy would be lost and I guess that would be a pretty significant amount but see I don't I don't see it really having that much effect on anything so I don't know I'm gonna go ahead and grab it you know just so I can say that I have it but I I have no clue what <laughs> what the this hell is this is gonna be um, <laughs> or why why they even have this and I've never because I've never seen anybody use it I've never seen the alert for it before um, yeah, it's just, and it seems it's a really, it's a pretty difficult mission. Like, they go to level, I think, 38, the, these enemies, and that seems like quite a bit for, um, for just a, a crappy aura mod, so we'll see. Um, ooh, hopefully, I don't know, I don't want to spawn a juggernaut either, jeez. Um, yeah, we will see. Hopefully, I don't know. I did it. Did it spawn? I I have my my um stuff there. My uh, God, my volume buried. Low. I can't think right now. Uh, yeah, I have my volume pretty low, so I can't really hear everything that's going on. Um in the actual game, I'm mostly just like doing it for the commentary. I like to turn the sound low so I don't have any distractions, you know, having to fight myself with like listening to the game and doing live commentary as well. So, um, yeah, I've kind of adjusted my setup even though I'm moving, um, that I actually have, um, my computer next to me so I have my recording software on my computer going while I'm playing. Um, that, or at least the audio for my my commentary because it's uh, on my computer because it's such a higher it's it's a way higher quality on my computer when I record my um, my commentary rather than doing it through the PlayStation. So I've been doing it that way. So it actually sounds a lot better in my opinion, and I can control the volume of um, I can control the volume of the commentary. You know, while as if I'm doing it on the PlayStation, it just comes out like that, and most of the time it comes out with my voice completely covered up by the game volume. It doesn't mute the game volume at all, so I like to be able to control that in the, um, you know, when I'm editing and stuff like that. So it just helps it a little bit. Um, yeah, so this this actually seems kind of like it might be a little bit difficult. Um, I'm using the Broken War most of the time. Uh, you guys probably have already seen my video of it and how awesome it is. And I actually think that I am running Steel Charge with Excalibur, so it, I'm getting 60% extra damage on this Broken War. So I'm doing pretty well. Oh, wow. My health just went down a whole bunch, so <clears throat> it's all right. Hopefully, if we die, I'll just revive myself and then we'll just keep going. I won't have to do anything else, but you know, we will see. Kind of a weird, weird hard, weirdly hard mission for such an easy, um, or such a not very good aura mod, if that makes any sense. And I thought that there was a juggernaut. That was weird. I, I remember seeing those flashes and the, um, the enemies were lighting up with that yellow stuff and then, no, there was nothing. So, I don't know. Like, uh, like I said before, I can't really hear, um, that well because um, I turned the volume down pretty low. We fought with so on. barely actually hear anything at all. So we will see. Alright, so these these ones seem to be really close to each other. So that's pretty good. Actually, maybe let's get out some Exalted Blade. I haven't been using Excalibur that much because of his nerfs recently, so just kind of been pushing him off because I don't know. I'm kind of afraid of having to... I'm, a, I'm afraid that I'm not going to like Excalibur as much anymore. But, you know, it seems like... 
it's not as bad. I keep doing that, the little, the radio blind though, because I'm so used to doing it, because it didn't cost any extra, um, energy before, but now I'm just doing it, like, too much, because I just, I, I had the habit of using it, just like when I was running around, if I, there's enemies, just throw that mini blind out there so you can do lots of damage, but now it actually costs energy, so it really, really screws up the way I play with, um, while I'm running with Exalted Blade, so... I don't know. It's a little bit different, a little bit harder to use, but, you know, I do understand why they made um, Excalibur kind of more close range than far range, because he is a swordsman. He's like, he's supposed to be the best swordsman. He's not supposed to be the best wave energy shooter guy, you know, he's supposed to be a swordsman, so up close, you know, dealing lots of damage, and then he shoots out these waves, but they dissipate, so, you know, it does, it does make sense why they did it, and, you know, Excalibur, to be honest, was pretty overpowered, especially since he is a beginning Warframe that you can get right in the very beginning, uh, you can pick him as your first Warframe, so it is a little bit, you know, um, I don't know, the, it's, it's a little bit iffy kind of, uh, it, it, he may be a little bit overpowered at some points. So, yeah. Okay, come on, let's get through here. Wow, it looks really weird. I don't know if I, oh, is this the gas chamber thing? I've seen these, I've seen this place before. Kind of weird. I don't know how to, oh, right here. Yeah, you have to open these doors to pull out, to suck out all that gas and stuff. Kind of different. Is there another one that I'm supposed to, another door I'm supposed to open? I don't think so. Wow, I'm, I'm probably gonna die. I'm losing all my health. Wow, that sucks. Um, is there any way to get out of here or to get out of that here stuff? I don't know, whatever. If I die, I die. You know, it's not a huge deal to me <laughs> getting having to revive, especially when you get these weird um, aura mods coming up, so, <laughs> honestly, I've never seen anybody use this aura mod, like, let me know down in the comments below if you guys have ever seen anyone use it, if you've ever used it at all, and, you know, even if you haven't, like, what's your, what are your thoughts, like, drop a comment down below of what you guys think of this, this kind of strange aura mod, like, you know, it reduces only corpus enemies, it only, it reduces their, um, accuracy. I just think that that's such a weird thing, like, I don't know, like, for me, like, when I think of Corpus, I don't think of, like, enemies that are super accurate, like, that's not the first thing to come to mind, so I don't know why they need to make an aura mod around that, like, I don't know. It just seems a little weird to me, right? I don't know, maybe that's just me. Maybe just a weirdo. Alright, so we are almost done, hopefully, I don't, um... Us, Hopefully I can get out of here. Mission complete. Oh, where is the exit? Multiple Damn it. Bio signatures detected. We've got ah, I was, almost got out. Oh well. Um, just a revive, that's nothing. There we go, there's the exit. So let's get out of here. We can collect our aura mod. So, like I said, it's just a weird aura mod. I don't know. I don't know why they would have this, but I mean, it, it'd be good to have all the aura mods, you know, maybe one day, you know, I'll have all the, I don't know, I don't know what I'm trying to even say, <laughs> I'll have all the aura mods one day, but you know, who needs all of them, what, I don't know, whatever, I'm just trying to talk to the end of this mission, which is right now, so let's mission go ahead and see it, Excellent work, Tenno. there we go, so that's gonna be it for this episode, yeah, let me know if you guys are gonna get this or a mod or whatever, but I don't know. That's going to be it for this episode. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to drop a like down below and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys in the next one.